The Nintendo 3DS is a very special console to me. I always wanted one as a kid, and when I finally found one on Facebook for pretty cheap, it turns out that the games are very expensive. And the only game I had was Mario 3D Land, which I beat really quickly. So I thought, hey, what if the games were free? And the next thing you knew, my 3DS was hacked. But little did I know that there was quite a few programs I had to install first. And today I'm going to run you through my top 10 necessary programs for a hacked 3DS. Let's get into it. Alright, so the first program we're going to be installing is called FBI. It's an open source file installer that is necessary for the rest of the program today. There is a link in the description for a tutorial on how to do it, because it's a bit more complicated than the rest of the apps we'll be installing today. But so go and watch that video if you don't have it installed yet, and then come back to here when you're done. So you may be wondering, what's Universal Updater? Well, Universal Updater is pretty much an app store for homebrew apps. M many of the apps in this video can be found there, so you won't have to download their CI directly, and this is pretty much your gateway to not needing a computer. So first of all, you're going to want to go to the GitHub page I've linked in the description and download UniversalUpdater.cia. So now that you've downloaded it, you're going to want to copy it and put it into the .cia folder at the root of your SD card. This way you can install it using FBI. Alright then, now you want to go to open FBI on your 3DS. There you're going to go to the SD, then the CIA folder, and there you'll find your CIAs. We're going to do this for every app we install in this video. So on Universal Updater, you can pretty much download any app. So for the rest of the video, if there's an app that's on Universal Updater, you don't have to go to GitHub and download it and put it on your SD card and go out to FBI and all that. Sometimes you can just use Universal Updater. So I'd recommend trying that out first before downloading the rest of the files for this video. Anyway, let's continue. So you guys know YouTube, you know, what you're watching this video on right now? Well, guess what? There's too many ads in YouTube, so that's why they made 4th Tube. It's a port of YouTube to the 3DS. No ads in every video. And well, yeah, it works. To install this is very easy. It's the same as Universal Updater. You're just going to go to the GitHub page I've linked in the description, and you're going to install it in FBI. Also, alternatively, you could just download it straight from Universal Updater to your 3DS. Much easier, but it doesn't always work. Either way, try what works for you. Anyway, now we can watch the Kirby Air Riders Nintendo Direct on the 3DS. Alright, so FTPD is a bit more advanced than for the techie people out there like me. You see, it lets you be able to access your 3DS SD card over Wi-Fi without taking it out. But anyway, you install this the same way as you do with the rest, as the CIA file. And I have the link in the description to the GitHub if you want to install it. Anyway, let's go next. Yar, I'm a pirate. Nah, just kidding, it's me. Anyway, here's 8Shop. It's a bit shady. It lets you download backups of 3DS games. Yeah, some of which you don't own. But anyway, that's besides the point. You download this one as a CIA off of their website. Here's how. So you go to the website, I've linked it in the description. There you're going to go down and download 3HS. There you're going to go to the QR code and you're going to download the option that's right for the 3DS. Then you're going to install it on FBI like every other program and then you'll have infinite games. You're welcome. In 2023, Nintendo killed the 3DS. It, they shut down the store and online play. Let's just be sad for a moment. Anyway, we can be happy now, because Pretendo Network restores all online play that used to be available on the 3DS before 2023. Isn't that cool? I have a link to the CIA in the description of this video. So if you want to get back online, then install this program. Anyway, let's go to the next one. Alright then, next up we have an enemy theme manager. 
This is one of the coolest apps on this list. You see it lets you download any custom theme from their website. And there's a lot. There are cars, Shadow the Hedgehogs, anything. So yeah, this one you have to download. It's in the description of this video and it's as a CIA file. You can use the camera to scan the QR codes on their website, but it's pretty easy. So yeah, happy theming. Alright guys, so Twilight Menu++ Plus Plus is the program that turns your 3DS into a DS. It gives you a full on DSi home screen and you can load up all your DS game backups onto it. Play every DS game ever made and you can even have it appear on the home menu as different games. Pretty cool, right? This one is a bit more complicated installation and there's a couple files you have to put onto your SD card besides the original CIA. But it's pretty straightforward and there are instructions online. I'm gonna get real techy here, but the flash memory on a game card where the game is stored eventually fails all the time. So, your save data on your game cartridges is gone. That's where Checkpoint comes in. On Checkpoint you can dump your save data and use it on digital games too. Pretty neat, right? All you have to do is install the CIA from the description I've linked. Anyway, next program. Alright then, so Godmo 9 or GM9 for short, per you probably already have it actually. You know, you install it when you hack your 3DS and it's pretty much like um, a BIOS or preloader for your 3DS. So it lets you access the files and everything in case you ever break it by installing bad programs. You can also install 3DS game files here. It's like FBI but encrypted. Here you can also dump your game carts so you don't have to pirate the games. You made it through the video. Good job. Now I hope that this program really helps you out with your newly hacked 3DS. And well, be sure to like this video and maybe subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you next time.